kwa hiyo wazi kwa hivyo vile walimtoa Kenan akasema because alikuwa one of us kwa azimio wakamchukua wakamweka kwa timu yao wakaheshimu vile wanaenjo walivyokuwa kizungumza wakamtoa basi tukarudi kwa meza vivyo hivyo kama wanawapenda hawa sana waingie kwa Kenya kwanza whichever party they want to belong to waende kwa by election tukutane kwa wananchi wangapi wananiunga mkono asanteni ah, sana so this is serious this is such a critical meeting if we all believe in the future of democracy in this country at this particular time mimi na na hesabu kwa sababu nimeona kwingine eh, demokrasia ikidhulumiwa mwana ruhusi imesikia on bbc radio ama television na kcnn watu wa pakistan watu zaidi ya 1000 wameshikwa wamewekwa ndani kwa kujaribu ku defend bwana Imran Khan na demokrasia wanashikwa jeshi ame kila kitu it is like they were in nairobi wakati vita vya pipeline vilivyotokea when an attempt was made on the life of our brother Raila Odinga we cannot allow this country to go back one inch kama vile mzee Kenyatta one time alisema wakati wa shift war alisema in, in uh, Arusha not as not an inch of kenyan soil we are going to say not an inch of the gains you have made in terms of democracy will be ceded to anybody because the constitution reigns supreme na kwa hivyo mambo haya mimi na nawapongezeni tena sana mimi talala leo nitalala because if they hear if they have ears to hear wamesikia na kama hawana basi they will they will have, I want to invite you ndugu uhuru na azimio sorry na jubilee of course led by our brother Raila we are going to have a, a big town hall kama hii on saturday walikuwa akisema akitoka northlands wataenda kuiba mbuzi yangu kidogo yata lakini wali, walirudia njiani kwa sababu kuna mtu alituma text message akisema mkienda huko yata kwa kalonzo kwanza mjue amtatoka huko <laughs> Na tena mkijaribu mjue mtakuwa slaves kazi yenu ni kufanya fencing na, kush, na, ku, na kulinda hiyo mbuzi na kondoo. Wakaogopa hakufika. Nikasema kuna malaika wanalinda. Kuna malaika analinda inchi hii. Na inchi hii kamwe haitarudi nyuma. Kwa hivyo mimi nawashukuru sana ndugu eh, because honestly you cannot you cannot touch the political rights of any Kenyan. And I'm told this matter was actually even canvas before the courts of law. Kwa hivyo kutisha watu. We all belong to this country. We those who believe Kenya is a is, is a limited liability company wajue that Kenya is for every Kenyan. I was kwa ni agachagwa kusema you belong to his company and therefore you get dividends only to watu kama hawa. Mungu amefanya maajabu yake akawavichua mpaka onekana pengine hata hawakuenda shule properly you cannot talk like that in a day and age as this and you stand and poromoka na maneno kama hayo unahitaji maombi so when i see some of the leaders there kama sister shebesh na kuona anasema wonderful na team ambao mmechukua mamlaka yenu i allow me to address a lady called anderitu a lady i have respect for Usikubali because that should be an independent office. Usika, usije uka ukadhulumiwa waambie oh ati hao anaenda kotini. My brother kuna rafiki mmoja anaitwa Peter Mwadi from MP for Limuru. Tunaitana mwana hiya. Mwana hiya wakienda kotini ah kuna bipartisan. Ya nini? Because this is one of the conditions ambao tumesema that we will not allow Uh, aggression against registered political parties and you believe it's a mean political party so we will not allow that that is to me an absolute minimum if they touch you believe kwa kwenda kwa mahakama na nini we all know these other guys we wish them well 
the least i can do form the own party disappear huko twende tukakutane na wananchi kwa hivyo mimi nimeongea sana ndugu kioni na huyu bwana wewe ni generali you have a general of a secretary general so again karibuni yata delegation ya jubilee of course you'll be hosted by wiper and our brother raila will be there as our leader and my sister martha uh, mother likes to say i must always lot a good for her i will make sure i do so may god bless kenya may god bless jubilee amen thank you makofi tena kwa naibu rais mheshimiwa karonzo musyoka thank you so much nataka niwatabue Eh, kuna wanabunge wanaitwa Kembe Kembe eh, Jukoa Buduki Songa Songa Umoshu Wanawa Nuru Okanga hao wote wako nyumbani we recognize you pia nitabue watu kama Kagai Rama Nyambura Magi na wengineo wagechogomwa hao wote ambao wamekuwa wakipigana vita kali wakati watu walikuwa naleta furugu kule nao the great honor of welcoming the our kusema hayo ni lady kwa sababu she is our tough lady amekuwa na sisi kwa azimio alikuwa mgombea mwenza wa Raila Amoro Odinga mheshimiwa Martha Wagari Karua yeye pia ako na wimbo ambao anasema in the car gani akaribu kwako Sita simama sita simama maovu yake akifanyika karibu sana Wacha niwaimbishe kama hawajui ni konja hata siwezi karanga Oe hai shagala bagala ni kotayeri kulipa garama sita simama maovu yake tawala sita simama mao yakitawala asanteni jubilee oye oye wananchi oye oye azimio azimio tusisahau ya kwamba that jubilee is one house azimio is the larger house na ndio nikaja leo na kofia ya NAC Kenya ndivyo mkumbuke NAC Kenya is a member of Azimio Coalition Mheshimiwa Rais wa nne wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta Mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga kiongozi wa Azimio na mtu ambaye tuna imani ndiye alichaguliwa rais wa tano. My brother mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka, mheshimiwa Eugene Wamalwa, mheshimiwa Mwangi wa Iria, mheshimiwa wa Jakoya. Na mheshimiwa Kioni na viongozi wote. Tuko hapa leo kwa ukoo wetu. We are here because jubilee is a part of azimio an integral part of azimio tumekuja kusimama nanyi mumekuwa mukiingiliwa mukitishwa na hata mkutano wa leo mukanyimwa bombers of kenya na mlikuwa mkipelekea bombers of kenya pesa money that they need because they are not doing well financially The loss The loss today is not to Jubilee or Azimio. The loss is to the bombers of Kenya which was prevented from being professional, behaving professionally and hosting this NDC. It has been said and I want to reemphasize. Ukigusa Jubilee umeguza Azimio la umoja. You touch any one of us, you touch all of us. Na hizo by partisan talks ni kama kuongea na neighbor wako mukishindana sababu ya mpaka, boundary issues. Na huyo neighbor 
aanze kupiga bomu kwa msingi wa nyumba yako touching jubilee is bombing the foundation of a house called azimio la umoja we shall not let anyone play around with constituents parties of azimio na nataka ijulikane ulimwengu wote sio wazi ndani ya jubilee wanataka kubomoa jubilee ni william ruto anataka jubilee na mimi namuuliza wewe kudai ulishinda kama ulishinda si basi uko na wajumbe wa kutosha kwa nini ukae ukijaribu kubomoa nyumba za wengine kama umetongoza members and they want to come to your party warudishe kwa kiwanja wachaguliwe wakiwa kwako hata mzee wetu aliaga mzee moi alikuwa na heshima kwa sheria akitongoza mtu wa nyumba ingine tulikuwa alikuwa anajiuzuru tunaenda by election sasa mtu anasema ako na phd na hawezi kutambua sheria za Kenya that is the great shame of this nation hatutaki usaidizi wako william ruto all we need is respect for the rule of law respect for the constitution and the laws of Kenya leave political parties alone wewe jenga nyumba yako na ukitongoza hata watu mia moja. we are ready for by elections na mimi nakuahidi tutakubwaga wewe na tunakuambia what he is trying to do because it is good people know anajaribu kupata super majority ndivyo aweze kupindua pidua katiba bila wananchi kujua this is a great assault on democracy tunajua wewe hujapambania democracy some of us have fought for democracy throughout our lives in this country wewe ulipinga hata hii katiba but you are bound by this very constitution you must respect it you are not above the law if you don't as kenyans we will force you pia nieleze nieleze sababu we will force him because wananchi ndio wako na ushukani wa juu so the reign it belongs to the people of kenya wa kenya ndio wanapatia koti ushukani wa kenya ndio wanapatia offices zote za executive ushukani hata wabunge wanapatiwa ushukani na wa Kenya na ushukani wa Mkenya hauondolewi unaweza bypass hao wote umepatia ushukani we can exercise our sovereignty directly ni nataka kusema juu ya bipartisan ni kweli tulikubali kuketi kuongea lakini maongeo gani kama utaendelea kuingilia nyumba ya azimio watch out you continue to assault the house of azimio by assaulting its constituents parties there will be no talks that will be the result if you really want to sit down show respect to azimio and its constituents parties and take that as a serious warning shot kenyans are tired na mambo ya ushuru wewe sakayo utashuka utashuka na usiposhuka wa Kenya watakushukisha watu wengi wanalala njaa hawawezi pata chakula ya kutosha watoto hawawe endi shule vijana wengi hawana ajira na ile tu unafanya unataka kuweka ushuru hata kwa hewa ile tumepewa bure na Mungu ukisikia kinara wangu akisema punda amechoka utakuja kuelewa hiyo ni kusemaje ukiendelea vile unaendelea mimi nikimalizia nataka kusema hivi nchi ambayo haina msingi wa heshima haiwezi ikaendelea itazambaratika na heshima ni kusema hata kama hunipendi nipatie haki zangu kisheria huwezi ukaingilia 
rais amestaafu wewe umuone kama si mkenya ungigirie haki zake na za jamii yake shame on you Kenyans will not tolerate lawlessness na ukosaji wa adabu kuingilia mali ya wenyewe kutusi watu kila siku iko watu hapo na sitataja majina yao wasichavue nitachavuka mdomo tafadhali mtawajua wale wana there are people who are behaving like village bullies kazi yao ni kutusi watu kila siku we are not going to accept to be bullied into silence you can insult all you want but we are not going to be cowed down we shall stand for our rights and we are going to liberate ourselves and our country whatever it takes that is a notice to you na kwa jamii yetu ya wakikuyu moririkana ge na ngwaria ge gesogo moririkane ona ambiti etere yare amwana yani even a haina does not eat its own how come that we have become worse than hyenas how can you go to attack the property of one of us we want you to respect not that just the properties of those who belong to our community but of every kenyan because a nation without the rule of law cannot stand mimi naomba wewe vijana mnapotoshwa msipotoshwe tena we shall live in harmony na hata tukishukisha zakayo tutamshukisha in harmony aende nyumbani in harmony na Kenya iendelee in harmony sisi si watu wa pujo sisi ni watu wa kufuata sheria na amani iko kijana yangu mmoja aliongea hapa na nimamwambia nitamkosoa kidogo hata ikiwa ni mtu ametukosea awe mama awe baba tusimuingilie kimaumbile tuingilie vitendo yake na hiyo ni kusema sio leo peke yake kila siku hata akiwa ni mama please stop yourself from issuing any criticism or insult that is gender based sababu utakuwa utatusi alta wale tumeketi hapa bila kujua kama ni mwanaume pia hatutamuingilia kimaumbile tutamuingilia kulingana na vitendo yake kwa hivyo long live multipartism long live jubilee and long live kenya asanteni sana asante sana thank you so much makofi kwa mama makofi kwa mama ili tuweze sasa kuinuka tumukaribishe baba Raira Amoro Odinga the people's president sasa ni wakati wake wapi wimbo wetu baba Raira Amoro Odinga the people's president yes
אז עם מי הוא? אז עם מי הוא? אי 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 היה אבי היה אבי? היה אבי היה אבי? היה אבי היה אבי? וואלי סמא היית וזה קנה היית וזה קנה לקיני וואנה ג'ובלי וואנה אזימיו וכבר ג'יבו יקום באינה נאיתה איתה? סמיפניקה זאסה? ג'יבולי מפניה או ג'פניה? אז אם יהיה מפראי זה פראי? סיסי תומקוג'ה חפה כמה ונאזימיו קונגה מקונו דוגוויתו חפה וג'יבולי נתק אותו השוקרני סנה כאן דוגויינו Uhuru Mgai Kinyata Kwa kusimamba imara Na kuhepa vitisho vyote Na kusema ya kwamba jubilia itapanya mkutano siku ya deo Sasa mimi ni mesimama hapa kama mwana azimio Nataka kuongea sasa kwa niyaba azimio yote Kuna maneno ambayo minataka kuongea na wale wengine huko mtaongea kwanza kwa kimombo ili wasikie vizuri baadaye nitafanya Kiswahili kidogo on behalf of Azimio i am honored to join you at this special national delegate convention of Jubilee party which also serves to kick off the rejuvenation of all Azimio parties. As a coalition, we recognize that we are only as strong as our constituent parties. A strong jubilee is therefore a strong Azimio. <laughs> Two, let me take this early opportunity to thank members of Jubilee Party for the passion with which they embrace my campaign and the votes they cast for me as presidential candidate in the face of monumental fraud and lies. I don't take it for granted that millions of voters woke up at dawn in Mount Kenya and other parts of the country, lined up for hours and trusted me with their future by voting for me. As you not to give up on that dream of a regime governed by empathy for citizens, honesty, and accountability, as opposed to the lies Kenya Kwanzaa sold and continued to sell. The Jubilee Party carries a special significance to us in Azimio precisely because of attacks it has endured and the efforts of the state to kill or co-opted forcibly into Kenya Kwanzaa. Should Li Jubilee be subdued, multi-party democracy will be under serious threat in our country. Accountability will be severely compromised. And good manners and barbaric politics will be cemented in huge sections of our land where leaders with such credentials want to hold sway. The end game is for Kenya Kwanzaa in its scheme against Jubilee is to give itself a supermajority in parliament that will enable it to amend the constitution towards its desired goals, including possible removal of presidential term limits. In this, the regime is walking on a well-trodden path. Kenya Kwanzaa is working on an arrangement similar to that of 1964 that saw Kadu walk across the aisle and join Kanu without his members of parliament having to seek fresh bandits. Kenya Kwanzaa 
want to ensure Jubilee as a party does not continue to exist on this side of the aisle. They want Jubilee dead in the same way Kadu did after which Kenya Kwanzaa will try to enact the train of events that saw Kenya become a de facto one-party state from 1969 before being made a de jure one-party state one afternoon in 1982. Kenyans need to appreciate that the desire to kill alternative forms of political organization is the initial step on the path to a full-blown dictatorship. Next will be a freeze in the people's participation and representation in political affairs of the nation. Next, the rate of participation in critical national activities like voting will diminish. By 1983, as we enter the peak of years of a single party dictatorship in Kenya, voter turnout stood at a mere 30 percent. It is therefore upon us the parties and those who have this hindsight of history to ensure that what happened once does not happen twice. While those in government may think they will be insulated should the regime succeed in destroying multi-party systems, history tells us that as soon as the regime in power succeeds in killing opposition, it will turn inwards and kill debate and dissent within its own ranks. The governing party will become a tool of, of the office of the president to manage opposition from within and without. When that happens, only one voice will matter, that of the president. Even those politicians who now think they will power in the government party will not, will not know where they uh, they, they lost the plot. The people trying to kill or take over Jubilee and hand it over to Kenya Kwanzaa may not be fully aware of the complex schemes being plotted by their sponsors. There are mere pawns in a game that will eventually consume them. Kenyans will recall that one afternoon in 1982, a few excited members of parliament set and approved the making of Kenya a one-party state. Those excited men and women who voted aye that afternoon in 1982 thought they were punishing other people. A number of them became the very first victims of the snares they thought they were laying for others. Which is why Jubilee's war, the war of Kenya Kwanzaa, must be the war of every Kenyan who treasure freedom, the rule of law, and respect for human rights, including the right to associate and to hold and express views freely. I must commend Jubilee Party for remaining strong, focused in the face of sustained state-sponsored onslaught. I am happy that the party recognizes its responsibility to Kenyans to defend and sustain our hard-won multi-party system. More importantly, I commend the Jubilee Party for continuing to fight for lowering of cost of living, electoral justice, inclusivity in appointment in public office, and abolition of excessive taxation of Kenyans. I want to assure you that we will fight this battle together and we will win it together. Failure is not an option. <laughs> Failure is not an option. As we push for respect for political parties, I want to make a heartfelt call on our country to respect leaders who have served our nation and handed over the baton to others. In the recent months, we have seen very uncouth, very primitive, and unwarranted attacks on the person and property of His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta and his family, including the founding president, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta. Shame on them. 
Nothing could be more uncouth than what we have witnessed in this regard, especially when it comes from men and women who call themselves leaders, who expect to be respected when they retire, unless they plan to die in office. I must commend my brother and our fourth president, Uhuru Kenyatta, for the dignity and decorum with which he has borne the insults and abuses for the sake of the stability of the nation, the peaceful coexistence of Kenyans, and the dignity of Kenya's presidency. I personally thank Uhuru for choosing to fly high when they have hit an extreme low. I call for respect of retired leaders, not because Uhuru is with us in Azimio. I say it because it is what I believe in, it is what civilized people should do and believe. It is what happens in civilized nations. Kenyans will recall that when NAC took power in 2002 and excited cabinet ministers bade for the blood of the then retired president Daniel Arab Moy, I said no. I said no to the intended frustration of a man who had held various leadership positions right from before independence, ending up as our president for 24 years. As I said, when, when we launched Azimio in Nakuru on 16th of August 2021, you must cleanse this land of the spirit of anger and bitterness, revenge and entitlement that the presidency continues to ooze. You must also build electoral systems that are resilient, transparent, accountable, and respect the wishes of the voters as expressed at the ballot. We believe that when leaders and governments lack popular support, as is presently the case, accountability, empathy, democracy, and good governance cannot be expected, and the nation cannot move forward. This is the tragedy that afflicts this country today. It is the reason enough for, for that, that well-known primitive voice, for that well-known primitive voice in Kenya Kwanzaa to stop losing sleep over an imaginary handshake. Kenya Kwanzaa is too shady to be embraced. That is why we have agreed to give dialogue a chance. We embrace the talks to secure a good deal for Kenyans. And if the deal will not be forthcoming, Kenyans can be sure we will not pursue vain dialogue. Those who want to take over Jubilee are the same ones who, who live in the mortal fear over their positions and political future. They are the ones living in the nightmare of a handshake nobody is interested in. They want to destroy Jubilee because, not because uh, it, it is weak, but because they recognize Jubilee is a force now and could be an even bigger force and a threat in the years ahead. I urge you to stay focused in creating an atmosphere that will allow the country to take a critical look at traditions and institutions with a view to creating an atmosphere for constitutionalism to take off and thrive. I therefore encourage you to implement the resolutions of this convention with the confidence that the full force of Azimio La Umoja is covering your back. God bless Jubilee Party, God bless Azimio, God bless Kenya. Aya. Sasa ntasema kwa muktasari. Swala nyeti yame tukunayo hapa.
kwanza ni mambo ya gharama ya maisha ambayo imepanda sana pili bei ya unga imepanda bei ya mafuta imepanda bei ya sukari imepanda hata karu ya shule imepanda na kodi ya nyumba sasa njia hiyo wanataka kuongeza ushuru juzi niliwaambia kwamba punda imechoka punda imechoka niliwaambia ya kwamba wa Kenya hawawezi tena kumudu ushuru zaidi ili ambayo wanatozwa wakati huu nataka yapunguzwe manake wa Kiswahili walisema atikibebasho kikivuja nafuu kwa mchukuzi kwa hivyo mambo gharama ya maisha tutazidi kupigana juu yake pili ni mambo ya uchaguzi mambo ya saba tulisema mpaka saba ifunguliwe juzi nipoambia wanasema oh saba ilifunguliwa nikawali ilifunguliwa wapi wanasema mambo ya uchaguzi litisha sisi kama wazimio si watu ambao wanalalamika kwa hovyo mliona hapa boma za Kenya kulikuwa na makomishina saba chebusheta na wengine na wawili na wengine wanne wanne walisema la yale matokeo ya bwana chebu kati ya yake kwa kweli walisema namna hiyo paka wakatoka pale wakaenda kule kule sarene hotel wakatoa taarifa tofauti na yale ya bwana chebusheta kwa hivyo na baadaye jamaa kapiga firimbi na katoa matokeo ya uchaguzi wa halali. Kwa hivyo tunataka tuangalie hiyo saba ili tujue ni kitu gani iko ndani yake. Kwa kweli hiyo ni sharti mpaka ifanyike. Mpaka ifanyike. Tatu tumesema hatutaki kuona kama watu wanaingilia mambo ya ndani ya vyema vya azimio. Kwa upande mmoja wanasema wanataka kuimarisha multi-party democracy. Badilisha weka ofisi ya kiongozi wa upinzani katika bunge. Kwa upande hii unaua jubilee. Unaingia ODM. Kwa hivyo tutaingia ndani ya wiper. Tumesema hii hatutakubali. Wale ambao wameingia kwa biashara ya umalaya ya siasa kama mwingia biashara ya malaya ya siasa jiuzulu ile tikiti ambayo ulipewa rudi kwa wananchi uchaguliwe upya mimi nilipotoka katika chama changu cha Ford Kenya kaingia NDP nilijiuzulu kwa bunge nikarudi kwa hapa kwa watu wa Langata wakanichagulia tena kama 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 mbungi wa langata wengi walitoka namna hiyo marehemu dr uh, uh, dr nani uh, protas nani huko kizi likoa mumai umanyi shamala apili wawire aniri na kadhalika wengi walijirudi katika uchaguzi kwa hivyo tunasema badala ya kuchukua bijubili uende naye katika Kenya kwanza toka kwenda peke yako nasimama na chama ya Kenya kwanza au uda atuonane na wewe kwa kiwanja mwingi misho wamesema Kenya ni kampuni ambayo kuna hisa ati wengine wakuna hisa mingi zaidi mwingine mna kidogo mwingine hawana Swali ya kwamba kama kuna wa Kenya ambaye hawana hisa wanafanya nini Kenya? Wanafanya nini Kenya? Kama hatuna hisa unatutoza ushuru ya sababu gani? Kwa hiyo nasema tulipe tatu ya pesa yetu na nyumba waweze kujengea sisi. Tumesema ikiwa kama nyinyi mnasema mambo ya hisa 
na tunataka bwana Ruto atuambie mimi kama ye anaunga mkono mambo ya bwana Gachagua maana Gachagua ndio naibu wake ukisema ya kwamba Kenya ni kampuni basi zitu za kushtaki tunaenda kwa moja mataifa tuseme tunataka self determination we cannot be treated like second, second, uh, second class citizens that only those who voted for Kenya kwanza are entitled to employment and entitled to services by this government if that is the case then the rest of Kenyans will ask for self determination tumesema hao watu wamedhulumu Kenya zaidi kila siku wako kwenye runinga wanapiga kila wanabweka wanabweka kwa Kenya sisi kama wa Kenya hatuwezi kutishwa hatuwezi kutishwa kwa hivyo kama nyinyi mnataka mazungumzo tusema mwezi moja. sasa mebaki siku kumu na nne. siku kumu na nne mebaki. kama yule kamati ya otiende na yule mwenzake haijawezi kupata suluhu hizo kwa mambo matatu mambo ya mambo ya gharama ya maisha pili mambo ya uh, saba na tatu ni mambo ya vyama viwe huru tutarudi uwanjani tutarudi uwanjani na uwanjani sisi hatuwezi kutishwa tutasimama imara mko tayari Mko tayari. Angapi wako tayari nione mkono hapa. Sa, hawa walisema wao ni watu wa hasla. Sasa lugha hasla sasa imepotea. Hawataji mambo ya hasla tena hata kidogo. Wanaongea juu ya mabadosi peke yake. Na wale wadosi ambao wanaongea juu yao ni wale wale ambao wanaiba amkazili mali yetu maana kasta kila siku mambo hii ya ati neti ya ni ya, ya umbu pale ni nani yuko pale si mnajulikana mnajulikana bwana richieta ni watoto wako ah watu wote wanajulikana mambo ya sukari mambo ya sukari 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 sasa sisi tumesema mambo ya ufisadi mpaka yangaliwe na watu ambao wanahusika lakini wezi ya wezi kwenda kushika wezi vingine mambo ya shakahola 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 tulisema tuliona bwana makenzi katika ikulu walikuwa na umma pa pamoja Shakahola ni ni, 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 ni state house annex. Wale waweze kufanya uchaguzi ya Shakahola. Ndio niwaambia bwana Ruto wewe koma kabisa huna uwezo wa kuunda tume ya kufanya uchunguzi wewe ni mshukiwa. Na bwana Gachoka bwana Gachagua ni mshukiwa na mtu hao wote hawezi kufanya uchunguzi. Mimi nilienda Shakahola nikazuiliwa kuingia pale. Kwa sababu gani? Mwanaiko anajua mimi nitaona ukweli huko. Sivyo? Kwa hiyo sisi tunasema wa Kenya sasa wamechoka mizi nane peke yake imetosha. Punda imechoka. Punda imechoka. Tunataka mabadiliko. Si mnataka mabadiliko? Ngapi unataka mabadiliko nione mkono hapa. Jubili. Jubili. Azimio. Azimio. Asante ni sana. Asante sana baba. Asante sana baba Laila Moro Udinga. Tumesikia hotuba zote. Na ni shukula ni kubwa asanteni sana nataka kumuita mama mheshimiwa Shebech kuja tunapo 
malizia Useme kwa kifupi shukrani kwa viongozi ambao wamekuja pamoja na yali, yale ambao tume yote pamoja thank you so much Jubili Jubili President wetu our party leader Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta wacha nianze na kusema asante kwako tunakupenda bure Watu wa Jubili ni kweli ama si kweli? Ukiona uhuru roho yako inasikianga aje. What you have done for us today. Utaona matoko ya yake. You can be sure we are rejuvenated, we are committed and we will hold on to Jubili party for life. Raila Amolo Odinga. Asante. Martha Karua. My brother, my friend. Kalonzo Msioka, Eugene Wamalwa, Wajakoya, Waineina from Kanu, and Mwangi Wairia. I want to tell you in case you have no idea, your, this face is the new face of hope for Kenya. It's the new face of hope for Kenya. I am a mother of what are called millennials and Gen Z wale vijana ambao wako na miaka 30 na miaka 20 and i'm telling you tukifanya campaign ya azimio it was hard for us to connect to those people but since maandamano it is my children who ask me kwa nini mande hakuna maandamano so i want to say to the new face of kenya and the new hope of kenya which is azimio don't tire because the hopes of Kenyans that you are carrying are not only our generation, but this generation that we must hold strong. Yes. I want to say thank you to our SG. Jeremiah Kion. Where are you, Jeremiah Kion? SG. SG. Aki, kuja tu hapa kidogo. You know, if you know a political party, na unajua uchungu ya political party, then you must understand the role Jeremiah Kioni has played for us to be here today. And because people are never praised at home, today, Kioni, I want to praise you. I want to say, you are unava. Ata sisi watu wa jubilee from now on, tukienda maandamona to buy sufuria kakichwa. Ndiyo watu wa jubilee is in the house. And I also want to thank you for not being shaken and for making us reach where we are today that we can confidently say, Jubilee to Kobela Pamoja. Asante sana. Chairman wa Jubilee, ambao leo mumeleta delegates hapa. Nikianza na chairman wangu wa Nairobi, ambao nampenda sana. Those who have run political parties, President Uhuru, you know even when you were in Kanu. Raila Odinga, I know he knows this. That is his strength. Ni wale wanaitua chairman wa party. We want you to work with pride in your areas. Mukisimama Museme Mimi ni chairman wa Jubilee. Because from today, I'm assuring you, Mambo imebadilika. Mungu wa bariki sana. Mpigia ni Shebesh Makofi ya napotoka. Asante ni sana sana kwa kuja delegates wote, waishimiwa wote. Na wanachama wote. Asante ni sana sana sana. Ningependa... Asante. Ningependa tuwaruhusu VIP waweze kuondoka. Mziki utakapo kwa unaendelea. Tunawashukuru. Tunataka tuombe. Tunataka tuombe. Tunataka tuombe. Tunataka tuombe. Reverend pale ulipo. Reverend. Reverend njo utufungie na maombi. Reverend naomba utufungie na maombi. Reverend naomba utufungie na maombi. MCA waidhaka.